Hey, what's up guys? It's the Leaf Man here. Yep, the guy made out of leaves, also known as Leafy. That's me, man. Made out of leaves, was born in a lab. I mean, I would tell you more about it, but it mostly just involves reptilians and classified information, so unfortunately, I can't really tell you guys about that. A lot of dark secrets there. But anyways, this video in particular does not involve the reptilian brotherhood. All my videos do. No, I'm kidding. Um, but I I'm a little bit fucking disgusted right now, if you can't tell. Uh, what happened was, about like 20 minutes ago, I'm walking back to the hotel. I'm in Madrid right now. It might be pronounced a little bit differently in Spain, but it's a big city in Spain. And I'm walking back to my hotel, and I see this disgusting woman sitting on the sidewalk, okay? And to all the people that are gonna be like, Leafy, oh my god, you're such a fucking asshole. So what, she wasn't attractive. You don't have to call her disgusting. You're an asshole, Leafy. Fuck you. Well, let me go into details of what I mean by that, okay? I'm not talking that she was disgusting as in she wasn't attractive. She was disgusting because this motherfucker smelled like tuna and shit, okay? I felt like I just had to say that for the people that had their pitchforks ready, ready to fucking spear me like in the movie 300. But again, she was just completely fucking disgusting. She smelled like tuna. She kind of looked like an embodiment of a disease. I don't know which disease. Probably some sort of disease that would wipe out the fucking human race, okay? She had a fucking plastic bag around her head as a bandana. <laughs> I am joking about the last one. She didn't have a plastic bag around her head as a bandana. I'd be dubbed. I'd probably walk the other way if I saw that. Yeah, I'm walking past this chick and I kind of look at her, but you know, I just fucking keep walking. I'm not going to sit there and fucking say something to her. I'm not an asshole, okay? I know a lot of people think I'm just going to fucking push her over or something. No, dude. I'm just walking my own way to the train station. And as I'm walking by her, she kind of looks at me, and it's obvious she's going to try to communicate with me, okay? And I'm like, oh, fuck, I better walk a little bit faster. Oh, God, you know someone's going to come in. Oh, my God, Leafy, just because you smell bad, you don't want to talk to her? Oh, you're a fucking asshole. Motherfucker, I am not this pope, okay? I'm not sitting here trying to argue that I'm a great person, okay? If you smell like tuna fish and you look like the embodiment of a disease, I'm probably going to walk a little bit faster. I'm sorry, man. I'm not a perfect person. Don't judge me, man. Just don't judge me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm walking a little bit faster, and then she stops me. She literally walks in front of me. Like, this is a fucking cowboy standoff. And we just kind of sit there. And I'm like, make your move. And <laughs> no, I'm joking. I didn't say that, okay? Oh my god, now I feel like I have to argue that I'm a good person to you guys, okay? You do not become the reptilian leader by following the nice little brick road and then finding the fucking Wizard of Oz or whatever, okay? To become the reptilian leader, you gotta get off the road and go into the forest and cut some people, man. That's, I'm not saying I did that, but I have cut some people. Okay, I'm getting so off topic. So she taps me on the shoulder, looks at me, and starts speaking in fucking a different language. I have no idea what she's saying, so I just say, you know, I, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm fucking leaving. <laughs> and I, I, like, try to move her aside and start walking away. But while little Calvin's trying to get away, someone grabs his hand. And yes, it's the fucking disease number X52. Okay, so she grabs my hand, right? And I look at her, and I'm like, oh, God, I'm gonna have to fucking cut off my hand now. And she looks at me and says sex and i literally whip my fucking arm away i don't give a shit if it broke her arm i whip my hand away and fucking book it okay i didn't i didn't book it i walked away very fast and i was just like no fucking way dude i'm not even gonna tell her no i am not interested at all dude i need to get the fuck out of here because the embodiment of a disease wants to have sex with me i don't know if she wants money i don't know what the fuck she wants i don't know if she wants some fucking willy wonka chocolate but i don't want anything to do with that but i power walked to the train station. Not, I power walked, I power walked, okay? To the train station, I cut off my left arm, ripped my arm. You know what? It's a little bit unfortunate, I know, but I'm not taking any chances. But I made it safely back to the hotel, I think. I mean, I have really no idea. She could be outside my door right now, ready to break in like fucking terrorist win right now, straight up. But I think I'm safe. I hope. I hope. Anyways, guys, this is Survival Log 001. I hope you guys enjoyed this Survival Log. Leave a like for good luck, man. Every like will motivate me to fight it. <laughs> Jokes aside, though, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This shit actually happened, by the way. I'm not fucking bullshitting any of this. I may have made this story intense as fuck, but the whole thing happened. She straight up grabbed me and asked me for sex, and I power walked the fuck away, okay? But <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Leave a like if you did. It means a lot to me. This has been Leafy, codenamed The Leaf Man, and this has been my survival blog, 001. If I don't make a video tomorrow, I'm fucking dead.
forget about me, man. I'm done. It's over.